So one of the things we do for those of you who are new to our programs, when we get really excited talking about what we're doing with library programs, we do library hands. Can you show us your excited library hands? <gasps> Look at those excited library hands. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, and we also have what we call our library cheer. So we do cheers at our, li our library because we're so excited about reading. So what we do is we count to three together and then we say library as loud as we can. So we're going to start out tonight with a library cheer just so we can practice. Okay. So is everybody ready? Let's see those library hands. Let's see them. Oh, look at all those library hands. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, here we go. Let's all count together and then as loud as you can, library. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Library! Yay! Oh, that is fantastic. I love seeing all of your faces and smiling. Who is happy and excited about summer reading this year? Let's see those hands. Woo! We are going to have so much fun. Do you know that just today we had number 500 sign up? We have 500 yeah. people. I know! 500 people yeah. reading with us. That's amazing, isn't it? We're so excited that you're excited. And we feel very, very honored that you choose to read with us this summer. So one of the things we like to do is we have a little glimpse today to show you what our programs look like. So you'll have some idea. But tonight we're just going to share a story and a song because our actual program programs that happen all the time are going to start the first week in June. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to start out with what we do during our programs. We're going to start out with our welcome song and Miss Olivia is going to sing it. If you notice, Miss Olivia is on tonight. Look, she's got her grad, grad on top of her head and she's wearing her beads around her neck because guess who graduates from high school Thursday night? Yay! Miss Olivia! Yay! <laughs> We are so excited. Miss Olivia has actually been with us for six years now. She started volunteering when she was 12 years old. Can you believe that? She volunteered and she volunteered and then we hired her as our first teen intern. And now she's actually working for us part time for this summer for summer reading. So see all the fun things. You can even end up working in a library if you get started early on volunteering. So we're just happy to have her. Before I forget, I'm Miss Denise and then we have Miss Olivia. And Miss Annette. Annette and Miss Leslie. And who does Miss Leslie have with her? <gasps> meow, meow. Everybody give Miss Meow, meow library hands. Woo! And yeah, Miss yeah. Olivia has a visitor too. His oh, name who's is that? Mystery. <gasps> have you guys come into the library and looked at Mystery in his tank? He's actually out here in the library. You can come visit him and see him in his big terrarium. So you can come the next time you pick up books, you can come see him. So we are so excited. So, all right, Olivia, you ready to sing? I'm ready. Here I'm we ready. go. Everybody sing along. Here we go. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Let's all gather near so everyone can hear. If you're ready for a story, come sit down. Yay! Well, we are so excited. The story we're going to share tonight is a really fun one because we've been talking about summer programs and everybody reading, right? So we're going to share a book tonight. So keep an eye on your screen and Miss Olivia is going to put up the pictures for How Do You Read to a Rabbit? And this is a book by Andrea Wayne von Koskenglo, and it is actually done by Anik Press, which is Toronto, New York, and Vancouver. So here we go. Is everybody ready? Here we go. Do you read to a rabbit? Everyone likes a bedtime story, but have you ever tried to read to an animal? Mm, maybe some of the animals in your house? <gasps> If you read a bedtime story to a hippopotamus, he might want to sit on your lap. Uh-oh, that looks pretty scary, doesn't it? A hippopotamus on your lap might be a little hard, huh? Can you read aloud to a kangaroo? No, she'll want to jump around far too much. Look at them trying to read and jump. That'd be a hard thing. 
You can try to read to dolphins, but your words would get all wet. That would be hard because your words would smear and smudge and you wouldn't be able to see what you were reading. And why can't you read a book to owls? Because they'll keep asking, who, who, isn't that what owls say? Yes. You can choose a good book for an alligator, but don't let him get a taste for the story. What's he doing to the book? <gasps> He's eating it. Oh, my gosh. You have to watch those alligators. If you want to read the bunnies, you'll need books and books and books. Look at all the bunnies in the picture. <gasps> Do you see how many? I wonder how many bunnies are in that picture. It's impossible to read to camels. Their big humps always get in the way. Look at that. They can't see the picture for their humps. If you read a book to a boa, she might want to hug you good night. I don't think I'd like to get a hug from a boa constrictor. That just doesn't sound like any fun at all. Mm. Oh, it froze. That's odd. Okay. We always have a plan B. So, Miss Denise has the rest of the month here. So, I will read it from here. So, you can stop that, Olivia. So, said, can you read a bedtime story to bats? It's not easy to read upside down. Look at that. Boy, hanging from the ceiling like a bat. If you read a book to chameleons, they might get lost in the story. <gasps> So chameleons blend in with their background and then you wouldn't be able to find them. Oh, gracious. It's even harder to read to a cheetah. You might not be a fast enough reader. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep up with a cheetah to read to them. Whew, that would be exhausting. Why can't you read to giraffes? They are too tall to see all the pictures. He's sure trying though, isn't he? Look at him holding that book up there to let him see. Oh, goodness. And forget about reading to a parrot. He will just copy everything you say. So look at this. He's saying, once upon a time, the parrot's saying, once upon a time, there was a princess. There was a princess. Oh, goodness. Parrot just answers everything. With what you just read. <gasps> but you can read to your mom and dad. It will be the best story that they've ever heard. Look at this. <gasps> Reading to your mom and dad. Do any of you read to your mom and dad? Do you like reading to them? Yeah, it's a fun thing to do, isn't it? <gasps> so that was our fun book for tonight. How do you read to rabbits? Yay! Let's see those library hands. Yay! All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move around and Miss Annette is going to share a song with us. And she's going to tell you how we're going to do this song this summer. It's going to be kind of fun. You ready, Miss Annette? Yes, I am. This is an old camp song. And a lot of in days past, even maybe even some of your parents asked them, they may have gone to camp and they always had camp songs that you sung around the campfire every night before you went back to the lodges wherever you were going to sleep and everything and the title of this song is called the little green frog and we have used it every week for the last month and we're going to use it for all summer with you so by the end of summer you all will know the tune to this song that's called the little green frog miss denise pointed out all kinds of animals to you in that book. And there were some of them lived in the jungle. Some of them lived in the forest. Some of them lived in the ocean, desert, all kinds of different places. The Amazon rainforest, just all kinds of places. But the one we chose today was the long-eared rabbit. So we have a song about the long-eared rabbit. And what it always is, is the first verse tells something that a animal normally does in the routine of their day. And then the second verse says something that's just really silly that we know that they can't do. So this is the little, the long-eared rabbit song. Thump, thump, went the long-eared rabbit one day. Thump, 
thump went the long-eared rabbit. Thump, thump went the long-eared rabbit one day. And they all went thump, thump, thump. But we know rabbits go skip a dinky dink. Skip a dinky dink. Skip a dinky dink. We know rabbits go skippy dicky dink. They don't go thump, thump, thump. Okay, so next week, come and we'll see what kind of animal is going to be doing something really silly again. Every week, you're going to be every able to week. tune in because you never know what animal and you'll be surprised at what crazy things they do. So we hope everybody's had a really good time with us tonight. We've enjoyed spending time with you and we're going to go ahead and do our closing song. We're going to be here after we finish with our program. So if you have questions about summer programs or want to tell us anything that's going on, you can do that. So let's do our closing song and Miss Olivia is back on to sing our goodbye song. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Woo! Let's see those library hands. Woo! Yay! And you know how we end all of our library programs. You guys got a good warm-up opportunity tonight. So we're going to have you do the library cheer with us. It's count to three together and then library as loud as we can. So is everybody ready? Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Let's see all those library hands. 